Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. My name is Sean, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to solve a, a question that involves simple interest. Now, the question is, Sean borrows $4,719 in student loans each year. Student loan interest rates are 4.68% in simple interest. How much will he owe after five years? Rounded to two decimal places. Now for this question, I will highly recommend a calculator for this. It doesn't matter which calculator you use, it could be graphing, scientific, or even just a phone calculator would work for this question. Now, we have to understand what this question is asking for. It's asking, how much will he owe after five years? So Sean will continue to borrow 4719 each year for five years. So one thing is for sure. You will have to return 4, $4,719 each year for five years. So it'll be 4,719 times 5. This is equal to 23,595. So 23,595 is the total, total amount I would have to pay back with, without including the interest. And if we were to incorporate the interest now that we have our first step complete, we have to understand that for each $4,719, the rate of 4.68% will be applied to it. This means 4719 will be multiplied by 4.68%. And this expression over here represents only the interest that we are paying for one year, $4,719. This is equal to 220.8492. We can leave it in this form for now. We will round it to decimal places at the end. So applying the same concept, we will do it for the second year. So Sean will pay two times that amount, which is two times 4,719. And that will be multiplied by our same rate, which is 4.68%. Now, when we're multiplying by percents, it's very important to understand that if you want to multiply the percent, you have to move the decimal two places to the left. So 4.68% would equal to 0 0.04%. Since percents are always out of 100, we have to divide 4.68 by 100. And dividing a decimal by 100 means moving the decimal to the left two places. So as you can see, 4.68, if we were to move this decimal point to the left, 1, 2, we would have 1, 0 right before the 4 and the decimal point follows the zero. So 0 
if we multiply that, we get 441.6984. Now we do it for the third year. So at, in the third year, we will be paying the interest for three four thousand seven hundred nineteen dollars so three of that because we will be borrowing three times four seven one nine in the third year and we multiply that by the same rate so I'm gonna write 0 0.0468 to make it easier to understand here And that will equal to 662.5476. Now you may be wondering where I got all these values. These values are all from the calculator. It is very difficult, near impossible, to write this out by hand do this in your brain very quickly because it includes long numbers, decimals, multiple numbers. All that needs a calculator to work for us. All right, so fourth year, same thing, four times 4719 times 0. 0.0. .0. 468 468 this is equal to 5th year, which is our last year, it'll be 5 times 5 times 4 7 1 9 times 0 0.0468 468 this is equal to 1,104.246. So we have our five years interest from over here. This is our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And we also have our the amount we have to pay back when we are not including the interest. So now having all five interest totals plus our original amount, not including the interest, we have to add them all together. That will be our grand total for how we how much we have to pay back to the bank. So I know this is a lot of computation, but 23,595 plus 220.8492 plus 441.6984 plus 662.5476 plus 800. 83.3968 plus 1,104.246. Our grand total will be equal to, change the color, equal to 26,000. 
nine hundred seven dollars and seven three eight since the question asks for two decimal places our answer would be dollar twenty six thousand nine hundred and seven dollars and seventy four cents now we would not have three decimal places for money anyway so it would be obvious to round to two decimal places so we have here our grand total for how much we have to pay back the bank after five years if we borrow four thousand seven hundred nineteen dollars each year incorporating the interest of course so as a review first we have to find without the interest how much would we pay the bank after five years so that is simple we just do four thousand seven hundred nineteen times five since it's five years and we got this to twenty three thousand five hundred ninety five then we calculate how much interest do we have to pay each individual year so for the first year it would be 4719 since that's only only what we pay for first year times the interest rate which is 4.68% and we got 220.8492 same concept goes for the second year where we pay double the amount back to the bank for the first year since we are borrowing 4719 each year and we multiply by 4.68% same as before and we get 441.6984 and the same concept goes for the third the fourth and the fifth once we get that we have to add all the interest amounts together combine that with our original amount without the interest so our interest plus our original amount will result in our grand total which is twenty six thousand nine hundred and seven dollars and seventy four cents thank you